think it's really important, and, and I think it's really important also we, we just take a second, who's laughing now, right? Because the reality is, is that Artur Sadoun made a very uh, bold move to take a step back and invest in data, invest in Marcel, um, and invest in Epsilon, and ensure that we were future-proofed. And I uh, don't know if you've heard this AI thing, but you know we've been doing it for a while now. Like, so it's, it's great and how embarrassing for people to be launching this year with their AI when we've been working on it for, for forever. But there's also, for all the buzz around AI, it's very important to have human connection and human partnerships. Just this morning, uh, we had a, a session with a group of our Spark Foundry clients, and we had some really great thoughts just over like a very casual breakfast where we had Mattel talking to Molson Coors, talking to Wendy's, talking to LinkedIn, and, and, and so on or talking about different ways that we could create and collaborate, but also fuse different ideas and different approaches that you might not otherwise do. And it was a very casual based thing, but it, it worked really nicely. It's one of those things that can only happen in can, right? Because, you know, when I think about those clients, one's in Chicago, one's in New York, one's in Columbus, Ohio, like you start to think about all of that and you can start to bring people together and you can really have some robust conversation. Speaking of robust conversations, one of the conversations at CAN last year was all around sort of multi, uh, DE&I and sort of multicultural audiences and also multicultural audiences in advertising and at CAN. Um, there's also kind of been the sort of other piece of that, which is multicultural audiences need investment from media companies. What's, can you talk about, you know, the Spark Foundry and, or the publicist take on that? So I think you've heard me say this before. Uh, I think I did it at the Beat Retreat the other day, <laughs> like last, earlier this year. I, st I stood up and I said, take note, people. The minority is already the majority. And if you, if you hold back, you, you're, you're going you're gonna to ignore them at your peril, right? Um, and, and to that end, a, a, few, uh, a couple of years ago now, a uh, publicist created a, I should say publicist when I'm in France, uh, they created the Once and For All Coalition. And what we have done there is it enables us to, as we were looking to be more strategically focused, not only in, in targeting, but also understanding that people need to see people and, and, and help people that look and act and are them. And so what we did is the Once and For All Coalition enabled us to start to think about how we focus much more around investing in the future of minority owned and operated content. because. The reality is, is when everybody focuses there, everybody rises. But in addition, uh, candidly, the, the, there wasn't enough inventory around to, to, to help do that. And that's, that's partly because even the data and the way it's been collected in, in the past has fueled a biased future. And so we're course correcting all of that and have been for quite some time to ensure that we're, the data is more balanced, that we talk brand suitability versus brand safety to ensure that we don't have, we have exclusion lists, but on those exclusion lists, we don't have terms that are biased. Even those kinds of levels of detail are super important to ensure that that fuels the industry. And I know you and I were talking off camera about there are so many more people of color here this year, and it feels great to see that diversity coming to into fruition in real life too. Mm -hmm. You know, the other piece of that though is you can't, well, someone might argue that you can't make uh, an, an informed investment without informed measurement. And so what do you think about some of the improvements that are, that are sort of being made in terms of measuring diverse audiences? Are we, are we getting closer to being better at it? We are getting, getting better, and I think it goes back to the, the, the data, right, and ensuring that we take the bias out of the data. So that enables us to ensure that we are starting with the right data, we are activating against the right data in, in terms of the right people, understanding that we are reaching the people we say we're reaching, and then, of course, once we've engaged and closed the transaction, how we then tie that back. So we're getting better. I think there are, there are lots of solutions out there that aren't quite there. I feel pretty confident in the data I can use for Epsilon. But I think the industry as a whole is moving in the right direction.